What's your best game? My, I wouldn't even know. I guess technically chess, which I'm mm. very bad at. Oh. Well, what's your rating? It you, was a thousand, and then I promptly stopped. I think that was the last. For his rating. Slug <laughs> just. <laughs> We have to start being less crass. Why do we have to be less crass? Wow. Do we interesting? Do we have a reason to be less crass? What do you mean? Why would we? we? What? It, what? what? <laughs> Excuse well, me. I said, what do you mean we? Who, who invented the 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 cock panopticon? I didn't say was Nick it? wasn't part of it. You think you're not part that, of it? Yeah. That's the building that damn plane hit. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. hey, we're being crass and we're being rash. But would you like to bring in our? Uh, Come on, give me something. Give no. me a give me a <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that, this is unbelievable. I like seeing Guys, you. We just talk, I, can't, I like I seeing can't you show up around every week. With your, we, with your we just have a I can't show up every it. week and be the rhyme guy this is you. with no support. <laughs> I mean, remember, remember when we told her that the cue would be really clear and obvious? Yeah. And she's up there right now. All right, I got this. <clears> it's we're talking, world. We're talking about God. Yeah, In, of course. <laughs> introducing mm. the president. Whoa. <laughs> Of Women's History Month, Michelle Carr. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. wow. I didn't know you got that title. Know. That's, that's, that's big. Big. It's hard to get elected. Right. Right. Big. In general, a lot of people to vote. Hey, you nailed that slide. That's the whole reason I'm here, right? Women's History Month. Yes. Well, no, no, no. Don't say yes to that. No. Happy to be here. To, to be fair, it's supposed to be before <laughs> Women's History Month. To be well, to be really fair, we don't have two more women lined up. We don't. No. no. <laughs> so this wasn't an uh, actual idea. We just had a woman on, and we were like, "That was crazy." We, <laughs> <laughs> like, what if we did another? Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, this has been cooking for a while, but your schedule's so damned busy. My schedule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just talk, <laughs> talk your shit. Talk your truth. Please talk your truth. My <laughs> truth is, and I said this previously, but I want everyone to know, mm. I was supposed to do an unpaid intern, and mm. Ludwig changed. The schedule twice, so I couldn't do it. Okay. So who's the busy one? Uh, this yeah. guy's the busy one. You know what? Now that I think about it, you are busy like all the time. Who yeah. are we talking about? You. You. We're both. We're both. We're both busy. <laughs> yeah. Do you, okay. Do I you do ever feel bad? What? Do you ever feel bad when you take someone's time? That isn't us, your friends, but like people who are way more important. Mm. Like Michelle. Like Michelle. No, I'm not more important. No, oh, it's you're fine. You're clearly you can, more important. No. I think he ran out there. You know, like a movie the where like the character gets a red jacket because it's like that's who we're focusing on. That is you right now. Yeah, it's yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you, yeah. guys. Uh, you are more important. I'll clarify the cinema, that. if you will. And you, what you do is you say, "Yo, what's up? By the way, your time is invaluable to me." I don't I say that. It. I change I it twice. Say, I don't say that. Also, go fuck yourself. Remember when he said that? I don't. I never said that. I blocked that out. You seem nice. Blocking that out. I forgot. Michelle, I'm so sorry for saying that. I do feel Mrs. President. <laughs> I do feel bad. Actually, I, I'm it's Madam President. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Madam President. <laughs> I have I have a question for you. Okay. And because I feel like you are also busy, but mm -hmm. I feel like you're in a way professional, and I feel like I'm per se not because I was looking at my calendar. I've been trying to be good, a good boy. And I, I well, that's my great. That's a that. great first step. Hey, thank, thank you. Having a thank calendar. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your leash later. So I updated it and I looked at my calendar. And next week I, it says, "Would you rather Tuesday, 4 p.m." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And I'm supposed to fly to Vancouver that day. What? And, and You're so going, wait, it's in Canada? No, no, no. This is a separate thing, but I'm double booking on Would You Rather. And something's going to happen that day. But you don't know what Would You Rather means. I don't you know rather what means. Would You Rather maybe is. It, maybe it's part of it. <laughs> no, it's separate. Maybe it's like a separate weird thing. saw game. They were like, hey, can you come to Vancouver this day? I said, sure. Do you know who to ask to find out what this means? It's me from the past. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't reach him. Oh, the the no. funniest part about this is, so Nicholas Yingling, Ludwig's assistant, uh, I asked him once, do you ever manage Ludwig's calendar? And he goes, no, he doesn't let me do it. And I was oh, like, you don't oh. let him. No. I was Why like, not? oh, he don't do it good. Right. But neither do you. Yeah. So. <laughs> Isn't that an opportunity for a conversation between you guys? to Oh, give my that God. Feedback? Whoa, oh my you're God. so OK. So, OK. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Over to you. How are you so professional? Are you just Wait, like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're avoiding it. Ludwig, you're avoiding this problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh my God. Like you would rather, you would rather 
roast Nicholas here on the podcast. Deflect. Then <laughs> yes. Then put a meeting in your calendar to oh meet with God. him. Is this what it takes to dig into the confines of your mind? Oh we just need God. a Michelle here this whole no, time. Get out of my mind. She's your Lily. She just you. pierced your soul in seconds. That I, took, I don't like it. Took it. Me I don't years. like it. Well, you know, a long, long ago, I was his Nick Yingling. I was his assistant type person, and mm. I asked him. I was like, because we had so much to do, and it was just me and him and Rad's dad. We were the only employees. And I was like, hey, can I carve out 15 minutes a day to talk to you just like to catch up and like make sure we're on the same page? And you know what he said? I don't think we need to do that. (laughs) 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 This guy guy owns three companies. We we lived together. Michelle, have you ever heard the saying, Papa don't play ball for under a rack? (laughs) Oh, that's a good saying. Have you ever heard the expression? It's classic. uh, Papa don't play ball for less than a rack. You ever heard that? I think it was uh, <laughs> Love it. who said that? It's, my, it's me. I said that. Oh, he oh. said that. Oh, so deals less than a thousand dollars. Papa won't even talk about. Like, he won't play so, ball. Wait, hold on. Does Nicholas have access to your bank account or your Venmo? Does he pay people on your behalf ever? I hope because I don't. Okay. So <laughs> I in theory, I actually technically still could. Which in is theory, funny. he could go to your bank, withdraw a thousand dollars, a rack, uh-huh. a rack, give it to you, and say, "Hey, uh-huh. let's have a meeting right now." <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and then it would be yours, so it would go back in your bank account. I would have to apply zero. Well. To, I will play ball. <laughs> I, I unfortunately will have to play ball. <laughs> Dang. That's such a good solution. Wow. You beast in this shit. Uh, okay. I'll, I'm just trying to help. Here. Are, you, are, are, you like, are you like looking for a new position right now? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Like, no, not yeah. here. Looking work. For a job. Not here at your company. I'm saying <laughs> we're actually looking for something. I think more. if we swapped off brand and mogul moves, it'd be so much better off. <laughs> <laughs> so you think we should trade places for oh. a day? Uh, permanently, and I die. But but yeah, for a day for content, I would also wait, wait, do wait. that. Can you be you guys should mom? like you guys should hold each other by the shoulders and be like, I, I wish we would trade bodies. <laughs> yeah, and just kind of see. Uh, like Friday, <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Yeah. have to go to a go to a restaurant and open a fortune cookie, and then you know <laughs> we'll next do the thing whole thing. Do. <laughs> That'll yeah. be the opening shot. Uh, well, how okay? How big is your team? How big is my team? Yes. Um, including myself, mm-hmm. it's eight people. Oh well, my gosh. That's fair. Dude, that's I a thought fair, it was that's so fair. much more. As the Australians say, it's fair dinkum. What? But off brand is like thirty. I know that's why I thought it was more because you'd be doing a lot of shit. Well, uh, Ludwig's, <laughs> Ludwig's having a harrowing thought, okay. which is, <laughs> do I need less employees? <laughs> <laughs> her no, eight, you her eight is so powerful. <laughs> They're like Roman soldiers. Well, let me clarify. We have eight. We have. <laughs> well, they all take care of each other. <laughs> we have we have eight full time. Uh-huh. Uh But then you know, like when we have a a bigger shoot or something, um, like one of our recent shoots, we had forty people on set. Uh-huh. So those are all one off freelance. Okay. Personnel. All right. I yeah. uh, I. Once and by once I mean like a couple weeks ago, uh, called Michelle and said, "Hey, can you tell me how your company works? <laughs> <laughs> can you please, um... as someone with a company?" <laughs> well, you wanted to hire a producer for the podcast, right? I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. How's that going? Great, we found someone. Yeah, we found someone cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, will you have someone? Oh my God, please. <laughs> You well, didn't know, did you? I, no, I knew. I he knew. Did, no, I, knew. You he did, I, won't, I won't be mad. We had a meeting about it. You will be we mad. He if there. he didn't actually know, you would be mad. <laughs> no, and he does know. I just Let wanted, just I just wanted him fog. to tell the truth. You're mad even when I don't do wrong. I get mad because you know what? You were late to this podcast episode. It was noon. It was, it was noon. 12.02. Yeah, two minutes. Of, you, can't use, you can't burn your anger on these ones. I've been hurt It so makes the times. ones that are 20 minutes like, <laughs> like not as bad. You, you know, know what, what made me feel good, though? Where the other day, me and Ludwig were, were streaming, and he said, it terrifies me every podcast step that I might be late. I'm like, good. Because it, it makes me feel so bad. Good. Because, you, because time matters. I think It's you the one thing we can't get back. Yeah, slime. Whoa. I need a yeah. Smile. I think I think you no. need in your crew. No. I think you need someone who is like Just an emotional terrorist. And mad at me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say are any of the eight people like bald and really angry. <laughs> Just mad like, all the time. I'm not, no, I'm mad when everyone's late. It's true. I was on time. You were on time. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> Can we talk about the incident? The incident. Oh yeah. What Wait, happened? we're talking about the the incident. The incident. What oh, happened? Um, wait. You know about the incident. Yeah, I think I know where this is going. <gasps> yeah. I, I need answers. I'm oblivious. Because I'm very curious. This is an old, this is no, an you know. age old story. You were there. I know. Oh, oh no. Yeah. The incident. I remember now. Okay, so this is a story. 
that I've told many, many times. This on the is podcast. like over a year old. Yeah. It's a long time. It's ago. more than that, probably. I think it's now in fables. This is two. <laughs> I think it's Dose Eckies. It's two streamer awards ago. Eckies. More than two streamer awards ago. Mm. Oh yeah. Um. So okay, I've said it many times, but I'll say it again because we're on a podcast. Uh, we were at a party, and someone came up to me and said, "Hey, Stance," and I thought they were kidding. Two minutes of conversation answered the question. They were not kidding. And this person thought I was Stance. Mm. And I was like, this is awesome. I'm going to talk to them like I am Stance for the rest of the night. And so I was just having conversations with them. And then You're I go, saying cronky crunch, man. all kinds I'm, of dumb shit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying, uh, you know. Wise things. Just absolutely. Well, he squeaks, I'm going to play you Fortnite today. Heinous <laughs> shit. Heinous shit. Uh, and I go find Slime immediately. And I say Slime. Were you, were, well, let me clarify. Were you falling in line with the character of Stans, or were you like, I'm going to make him seem insane right now? Uh, well, I hadn't got to the insane part, but I knew quickly that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so so we're right now in the Michelle Cara YouTube video, we're in the intro, mm-hmm. okay. and I'm realizing what it, what it takes. And now we're, we're, we're moving into Act 2. And <laughs> Spend I, a night of stands and you go to find your eight people. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're moving into and Act 2 and I, I found what I, I, I discovered what I need and now I'm going to get it. Yeah. And so I naturally go to Slime. Here's and I say, journey. Slime, there's someone here who truly in their heart believes I am stands. It was like he got me a Christmas gift. <laughs> and I, I basically looked at him like, what do you want to do with that? Like, what should we do with that? And he goes, come here, come here. And, and he almost didn't believe me at first. I'm like, no, 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 I swear. And so we go and we find the guy again. And this time he's talking to you. And so, yeah. And so I go, <laughs> you know, watch this. And so we walk up and, and Slime goes to you and says, have you met Stans in front of the guy? And yeah. you just look at me dead and go, hi, Stans. I don't think we've met. <laughs> So in my head, I'm like, yes, two people are being owned now. My night is double as good. So we have, you know, whatever conversation. Mm-hmm. You're like, are you excited for the streamer awards? You're nominated. That's so exciting. Well, and I'm like, you said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in my head, in my head, I'm like, ah, I'm the funniest guy in the room right now. So later, I go on the podcast. I tell this story. And I think you. I think you were like. <laughs> She knows Stans. And I'm like, oh, no, yeah. no, well, you, no. You DM'd me and you're like, hey, did you run into Stans last night? Because you were trying. <laughs> no, no, to be clear, I was on the pod with him and I was like, no, no, Michelle was defending not, you. Michelle did not fall for this for even an yeah. iota. And of I'm second. like, she fell for that shit. I'm a comedic genius and a prankster, even. <laughs> I'm so the action coacher of the it. modern I had internet. I prove it by setting like a very like because I can't like lead you to the answer. Mm-hmm. So I, I have to send us. I will never forget what you said to Lubbock. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. You said, I don't know who that guy was. But it was not stands. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot tell you how much I appreciated the fact that you just went along with it. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was a big fucking deal. epic. <laughs> that was odd. Because cause that, that guy at the Streamer Awards with stands on stage still thought I was stands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's that, beast mode. Oh no. That's actually so oh much no. more sick because he's like, Stans look different today. That's, <laughs> He's got Stans cool. goggles on. I ran into him and he just said, like, he continued the conversation from yesterday because the party was the, the, the pre party oh of the Stream Awards. Goodness. And I was like, I was just like, you've earned it. You've earned mm. a place in my brain. What can was we, going through we, your head? Yeah. What was going through my head? Okay. So, <laughs> to set the stage for me, hmm. I'm a guest in this community. I'm not a streamer. I could, could not do what. What you guys do? It's one of the hardest jobs, for sure. <laughs> you like a like a garbage person. I think you yeah. can do streaming. I think you've done so many Ooh. hard tasks. <laughs> <laughs> you fought in a boxing yeah, match. You're so much harder. Yeah. I, was gonna say, yeah. you, I don't know. You've also you done can. Make, I want to say you've you barely you did barely. the streaming. That, like I, you can I, I streamed a little during chess. Yes. and that was it. Was very and stressful for Fortnite me. Too, you though. can make a yeah, YouTube yeah. video. Well, that's how I know stands. about becoming a streamer, and you could play like Among Us and Warzone and like order a lot of Uber I, Eats. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I don't think you could do the challenge. <laughs> Us soldiers. Well, maybe I'll find out when we when we freaking yeah, Friday for and such places. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm a guest here, mm. and I I always know something of, is afoot 
with you guys, especially with Slime. <laughs> so when Slime came over and he he had this look in his eyes, it was it was like Christmas again, Day what for the him. She saw it in your eyes as you walked out. Yeah. A bit. She she knew, I gave her I gave her an unconscious signal and she said, ah, a fellow Chester. Dude, you walked over with that Michelob stare. Dude, oh my, I'm so mad. I, I knew something was afoot because you were very smiley. <laughs> you were so <laughs> elated <laughs> to introduce me it's to like we Stan. Have the false memory of how it went. We go back and actually look and we're walking up like <laughs> <laughs> do you guys know Stan? <laughs> like a dramatic recreation um, and I was like I have no idea what's going on but I'm not going to ruin these guys night I'm, oh, I'm here for it so whatever cool. but obviously I know who the hell stands is mm-hmm. he taught me Fortnite for like <laughs> Dude, six weeks that's and we, so we saw each other he, I saw stands probably more than anybody else for a period oh, of the pandemic because we were on discord together so much <laughs> So yeah, I, I think the real hoodwink is that Stan's fooled you into thinking he was good at Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm awful at at most games because I I didn't grow up with gaming of any kind. What's your best game? My I wouldn't even know. I guess technically chess, which I'm mm. very bad at. Oh. Well, what's your rating? It you, was a thousand, and then I promptly stopped. I think that was the last. That's it's really a good rating to get to. It's really he, it's yeah. funny. You're like I'm shit at chess, and you're his rating. Slug <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit a thousand. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And he hit a thousand you. and then messaged me and said, kill yourself in real life. And then the screenshot. That, really that is thousand. real. I did do that. <laughs> and it's only because uh, I thought that he was really <laughs> mean to me when I hit 700 and I was proud. Apparently he wasn't even that mean. I just <laughs> made it up in my head. <laughs> you guys have a lot of interpersonal stuff going yes. on. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. It's been a long time. We week. have a method um, to handle it where we just put it lower. So... We any, push it down. You put any debris. job openings you have, any, <laughs> anything that's and, coming and, up. Shut up. Please, please. Shut, 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 shut up. Right? So you take all the crud, they have eight and the debris, they have and eight. The, you'd be mess. a bad knight. You I'd put the dirt on, on top it, of it, and then the dirt cakes over, and then you can no longer see what's wrong. <laughs> right? Okay. You understand? It's how's, that, how's that going for you? Uh, I don't feel it. I don't feel <laughs> shit. I don't feel shit. I'm in a great mood. Wow. I feel great all the time. You know, I almost... um. I didn't do this, but I almost brought Aiden a first aid kit today. Why is that? Why? Oh, because well, of... I, I just thought I, it would be something he needs because you guys shit oh, on him so on. much. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no. He deserves yeah. it, though. Can't you, <laughs> no. After being with him for a few minutes, you can't, can't, you feel you like can't give him a first aid kit because he starts to eat all the cotton balls inside. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. eat most he, call, of them. he calls them fun marshmallows. Yeah, you yes. say it's a, a th- what they eat in Norway, and he's like, oh, that's interesting. Cause they I call it Schmiegeldorf in Norway. Oh, so he starts eating it, and you're like, oh, we got you. And he's like, I think it's good. I'm interested in other cultures. You are cultured. Wow! Yeah. Did, you? did the entire head to toe acme fit give the <laughs> that away? I love how you call it acme like I'm in Looney Tunes. What is it? Wasn't well, that the acme. brand? Like, no, like it's, I like, really? I like ap- acme. I thought it was acme, like 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 like, 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 like Wiley Coyote buys dynamite. Yeah, when he does the big, <laughs> big ass plunger. Look, no. Aiden, Aiden, like Ludwig said, deserves it, but also he likes it secretly. Mm. Do you? The that they shit on me? <laughs> you, you sound like you have a gun to your head. Did they, well, do you did know what we did yesterday? Like like what, like did you, what did you do yesterday? Uh, the Birio Kart World Cup. Yes, yes. So I saw. Aiden was in that, and he's hungover. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, you can see I it in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Aiden, Aiden, yesterday, he was not supposed to do it, uh, and and I, I added him last second because somebody dropped out, and we're in the car driving there together, and he's like, oh, and I was like, oh, is it because we're driving there? You're not gonna be able to drive back because you'll be drunk. He's like, no, I just have so much work tomorrow. And then I, I know his entire schedule. And it's like, we just have a podcast. It's 90 <laughs> minutes at noon. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be hung over for it. And, and you did call it. It happened. Yeah. But we're okay because we're both the phenomenal racers who race well drunk together. Yeah. Well, Ludwig, what time did you get home? Uh, 1 a.m. What time did Aiden get home? <laughs> no, wait, what did you do? What? <gasps> you stayed out. You didn't Young go home. Man. He didn't go home. Young man. <laughs> I uh, got yeah, like three thirty. What oh, man? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't want to be. I'm being reprimanded. Oh my god! I mean, maybe you have to tell us what you did. Yeah. I, yeah. Yo, well, boy. after it, I, Wait, I hold went on. Let's, let's role play. I will be your mother. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, be his father. <laughs> young man. Or wanna, young young man. I don't want to look my dad in the eyes. <laughs> 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 Very accurate now. Came back. <laughs> this is good. Aiden, 
I need to know what you were doing last night. Mm. You had the car out. You were you were intoxicated. <laughs> and we're getting a divorce. If you don't tell us, if you don't tell car. us, we're getting divorced right now. Like, I, want be, I want to be his little brother who is at home and not in trouble. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh t- t- uh, Timothy, uh, w- nice. Do that again. Why would you, d- Dad? Don't let him say that. That's normal. Yeah. Am I the dad? Your dad, dad yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the mother. We're both dads. Yeah, no, I'm the mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I also You're in dad. trouble. <laughs> Okay, went, so seriously, where were you? I went out. I went out. It was my friend's birthday at, who was at the event, and he asked me to come out with his friends after the tournament was over. He didn't so just I, ask you to go out. It, it was me and Aiden together at the event, and he comes over, and he goes to Aiden, and he goes, we still on for that thing tonight? <laughs> and I was there, and I was like, yeah, have fun. I'm busy. <laughs> Fuckers. So they took me, They him and his friends took me out for his his birthday. And we went out in West L.A., which I haven't done in a very long time. And then I realized that on the way home in the Uber, I was like, which is like a 25 minute Uber home. I see the time and it's an hour and a half drive for some reason. And I'm like looking. I'm like, no, it's a daylight savings, dude. I lose another hour. (laughs) I feel like shit. I did the I got up this morning and then went and got in the shower like this <laughs> oh. and just laid there for 40 really? minutes. Wow. And then th- so that's and then I, I tried to have a little like twinkle in my eye when <laughs> <laughs> like, like I have like I have energy when I'm literally out front this. as I like carry out like boxes of pizza and like and <laughs> beers <laughs> from like the when Mango and everybody was from playing practice Mario Kart the night for before. Kart. Their practice sessions. I, we were clean. I'm not, this is not a, not a joke. We were cleaning bagel off of his face. Before you got here, oh, no. we're like Aiden. You have cream cheese all over your face. Clean <laughs> up. We have a guest coming. It was crazy. Mm. You're seeing me. It. You're not seeing me at my best. You're it looked like a roach. On you're seeing him cheek. at his lowest. Well, I, we've revealed our vices. It's drinking and driving. What's? Do you have a vice? My vice. Yeah, what do you what, let loose? What do you do? <laughs> what do I do? You go crazy. Hmm. I like sleeping. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I like working really hard. Working <laughs> hard, sleeping. Showing up early. Mm-hmm. I actually healthy. my Dude, that's like when they asked Pete Buttigieg's favorite song. He went, National Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be? Whatever God sings. No, 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 no. I definitely have fun. Okay. Fun. All right. All right. I you cut loose. You have, you have fun. I would let li- details. No, no, no. It's here, meth here, out of here, a light bulb. Here's how this. I have fun, though. Oh. I, so I do everything, unfortunately, to the fullest. Mm-hmm. So when I have fun, it's crack cocaine. Very fun. And, and not very, no, not crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> not crack cocaine. All right. I see. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, right it's after just, this. Uh, there's a, there's a for, credit card in the shed back there if you want it. <laughs> it's more for a uh, function than it is. Like, I don't, I don't know anything about like types of drinks, mm. but I know, okay, that is effective. Mm. Oh, so, okay. Practical. On the few nights that I utilitarian en- drinker. enjoy fun, it's uh, it's a little utilitarian. Yeah, so it's just grain alcohol. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you're blackout in you an hour, and then you wake up and she has an well, isopropyl with throw a spendy straw. Crazy, we, pr- we throw a pretty crazy Halloween party Ooh. every year. Oh, like, we have not nuts. been invited. That's so weird. We, we, well, you, you probably you got to come this year. You guys got the invite, probably? Okay. Okay. You didn't invite Ludwig, even? I, well, well, listen. This is the Ludwig podcast. me going. I went... You're all invited, but it's, it's, very, it's a very serious affair. So every year there's a theme, mm-hmm. and you have to be cast into the theme. So let me give an example. Whoa. A couple years ago, it was Marvel. Every single person who came, it's like full cosplay. Like People are sending us mood boards of their costumes. Holy like, God. Like there's p- costume prizes, full bar, DJ, everything in our house. And then we spend... This is, this, we didn't do it this past year because it just kills like three weeks of work because... We spend two weeks before the party completely redecorating the entire house. So the house became the TVA from Loki. And we ordered all this shit off eBay, like old TVs and stuff. And then we like, like Garrett looked up all these YouTube videos on how to connect an old TV to a laptop. So it was playing like TVA videos and propaganda of the Miss Minutes stuff. And then we had all like a scavenger hunt throughout the house and a it was really fun. Oh my god! Right. 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 Yeah. Right. So Halloween, I would say, is a, a vice of mine. Yeah. But it's really fun. Lud, Lud once had me film a video where he uh, cooked an egg on a flashlight. Well, okay, that, that doesn't <laughs> feel <laughs> super. It's true. Wait, was I it the super bright yeah, flashlight? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that thing is crazy. So we were like, so we basically have a similar sort of investment level. Yeah. Can I bring yeah. a theme for next year? Please. Okay. What hey, it be? Hear me out. Everyone is stands. <laughs> Dude, I would love that, and I do a good job. And we don't tell I him. I like win. perm my hair, and like we don't him. invite him. 
Dude, yeah, oh yeah, that would be insane. Oh, the insane oh, do you invite his family? Yo, <laughs> oh. I'm I'm actually down to do this. Yeah, please. <laughs> Maybe not for the official Halloween party, but okay. as a bit, Stands I think this is so Paul good. Stands. The dark oh. stands carnival. Mm, wow. Yeah, and every like you'd have to shave, get some glasses. Get that get wig. No! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she had the gun to my forehead. Yeah. I'm like, don't do it. And you're going to wear a wig. <laughs> uh, oh, it's yeah, funny. It would be funny if it was like a stands. different variation of stands. Like, some people are clown stands. Some people are like baby stands. Mm. Some people are like double stands. And they have like a prosthetic like stands coming out of their side or something. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? It's a true multiverse. Siamese stands. Time like stands. all mu multiverse stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm. like the Citadel of Ricks, but it stands. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Citadel of Ricks. Oh. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. There's Rick and Morty. He... I, I have um, this thing where I don't know a lot of stuff, but some stuff I do know a lot about. <laughs> Dude, that's what yeah. you yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Can you name one Michelle Carey video? Um... Uh, is it... Uh, <laughs> she's told the, you so many. The this quest episode to beat already. Matt Turk. <laughs> okay, that's what? A, that, is a, <laughs> that is a summoning salt speedrun video. <laughs> he just named another YouTube video. He panicked and named another YouTube. Slime is famous. For Was it close? His, no, I mean, I'm asking, you, I'm asking do you know, guess. like. You just, I think your experience of this podcast is so interesting because when someone comes on, it's like you're meeting a stranger. Uh -huh. It's so awesome. <laughs> I it? think your perspective is interesting, actually. Right? And so I know you as the person who went along with a funny joke that we thought was funny. And also you box Andrea Brotez. And that's pretty much it. Okay. And I think, well, those, I think both of those things are pretty cool. That's pretty real. So mm -hmm. in my book, I'm like, yeah. Let's have her on. <laughs> Otherwise, I veto you like Matt Pat. You're not vetoing Matt Pat. <gasps> Matt Pat oh, is Matt Pat to be on the Ludwig podcast. <laughs> Matt Pat said Ludwig's podcast. No, he said the you Ludwig. You called it that earlier. He did say the Ludwig. As a, yeah. Yeah. See, you know but this. He, but he showed the yard. He did show the logo. He showed the logo. Mm -hmm. Did you, know you watch funny? the video? I did. Well, okay, okay you did watch that video. Yeah, <laughs> so we got nominated for, uh, <laughs> for a streamy this yeah. year alongside some very large shows. It was kind of crazy. Like Logan Paul's podcast, uh... What was the other guy's Jay name? Shetty. Jay Shitty. Uh, Shetty. Yeah. Sorry, Shetty. The Daily. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, Joe uh, Rogan. Um, <laughs> Mike, Mike thought this last night. Joe Ropen. Dude. We said we'd be less crass. Okay. Anyway. They, they put all... Every show, you know, has a logo, brand, company, whatever. The bigger ones. And so they put all their logos. Our logo was Ludwig's face. Yeah, it was just Ludwig's face. It was a picture of Ludwig. We have branding. So who here submitted for the streaming? Because they would have been the person to we choose the submit. picture. We didn't None submit. None of us submitted. They, no. they pulled up. We got nominated oh. with no submission. They just said, hmm, instead of Googling yard logo, we should Google Ludwig. Dubbin. When, when <laughs> Ludwig. Show, in preparation for the show, they used this photo of us at the oh, streamer man. awards together. <laughs> <laughs> and we, all look, we all look really nice in suits and everything. But the fourth guy is virtual, a YouTuber. It's, it's a picture just of not the me. three of us with virtual, <laughs> and that's the photo that they used for our show. They yeah. yeah. huge so fans, funny. and they're fucking with us. That was, no, 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 that was, uh, we told no, Anna. No, we, we played a prank on them. Yeah, yeah, we told they, Anna. To they used your face it. for the logo, uh, and then they asked us to submit a oh. photo of ourselves so that I sent them that we one, knowing them. they would not know it's not actually us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of award I, shows, you had a moment. I had a moment. You won an award. I, I won an award. Mm-hmm. And I, I, what I wanted to ask you about is how you found out and the world found out that you won that award. Because was that as confusing to you as it was to me at home? <laughs> it was very confusing. Do you guys what know about this? I missed okay, this. So I missed this. we had, had the immense honor of winning show of the year at the Streamies. Um, you should check it out. Um, <laughs> it sounds good. And Matt Pat You can say hosting. that after anything to him, and it would be funny to me. <laughs> You'd be like, we're eating popcorn, you should check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't go out much either, so it does play. Yeah, Matt Pat was hosting. Yeah. Matt Pat was hosting. He was awesome. Mm, I doubt and it. <laughs> he's, he's a nice guy. He's a very he's nice so person. <laughs> Where does this come from? So he's in a cave, and all he can see is the shadows on the wall. Oh. And he has. And this sometimes the shadows on the wall play like old movies from yeah, the 80s, and, and then he gets mad that you haven't seen them, that you haven't also when seen Matt the shadows. in front of a tree, right? It looks like a guy with horns, and he goes, that must be a scary, shitty guy. Yeah, it looks like he's a never man. been out of the cave. He hates YouTubers. <laughs> okay. Please. I don't, I'm sorry YouTubers. I'm here. Please. I, I want to um, hear about the award show. <laughs> okay. And... 
he he's about to announce and show of the year is and then he pauses and instead of saying the name of who won it turns into this scavenger hunt where the letters of the winner are hidden all throughout the room so he's like everybody look under your under the tables under the chairs and we you know people are finding pre-placed placards that have segments of what would eventually spell challenge accepted wow but challenge accepted is a very <laughs> so long, long title <laughs> oh my and god and so the letters are all over the place and people are finding them and as they find them they come on stage and i th- think the intention was to have everybody line up and then you know vanna white style <laughs> wheel of fortune you should check it out <laughs> um, turn around and spell out the winner and they did and it did not spell that at all so it was very confusing and then he had to be like Challenge accepted. Oh my god! There's like 15 YouTubers out there. They have a bunch of words. They're like, they're like playing Survivor. Like, I don't fucking <laughs> know what this spells. And then people at home are like, there's two C's. It's probably three C's. Okay, challenge accepted. Was challenge someone accepted. an exclamation point like in High School Musical? I don't think there was an mm. exclamation point. Mm. Um, but it, it was it was very daunting because these. I think they intentionally placed it under like very popular people's chairs, and so you know you're going up there, and they're all these. People I've looked up to, and they're all just awkwardly standing yeah. there. Like, we don't even know what we Who, spelled out. How long did the ordeal take from the announcement to just giving up and saying? I would say it was probably a solid three and a half minutes. No. Yeah. Oh, that is an eternity. It was, it was a while. Oh, my it was God. A while. But it was still a very exciting. Thank you. So, well, thank so you. Amazing. I, was, I was at, um, <laughs> during this event, I was at a monster truck rally. Ooh. And I kept leaning next to people, leaning over to the people next to me, and saying, "I'm nominated for a streamy." <laughs> but you didn't go. No one knew what that was. And there's a guy with like two, <laughs> two beers in his helmet, and he's like, "Oh, cool." But why didn't you guys go? You were nominated. I was. I was nominated for Protest. three things. I went over three. It was lit. We well, protested. Why didn't you go? We protested. I went. I went oh. out of protest. I didn't know when it was because of Ludwig's face as the logo. Look, we. I get it. I get that Ludwig is the guy, and that's why this show mm-hmm. is, you know, interesting. But it's fun to be the once again the little brother, mm-hmm. you know, jumping up and down, saying crass things mm-hmm. like no. Even though he's the oldest one, you know, you get it. How old are you? I'm curious. You, why do you ask everybody this? This is because, so is, because I feel like we're uncovering a lot today with you guys, uh-huh. and I feel like we're hitting on some insecurity here. No, it's not. It's, I promise it's not. But it's it's more of a way to measure like. Life experience, right? That's, I'm 31. You're 31? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm 33. And this... <laughs> <laughs> and how's that life experience? He was growing up at your age, by the way. No, it was definitely yours. Because he's... Well, why? Why is it so different? Much larger number. Uh, because you, you're you over the Jesus line, is what they say. I'm on the Jesus line, you idiot. Yeah, but the that's Jesus old. line? He yeah, died, on 30, he died 33. when he was 33. In April... Yeah. I'll be over the Jesus line. <laughs> you will be fine. You have two oh, yeah, more years to become the Messiah, and that's why oh. you. Re- that's why Child you have- accepted. I've tried being Jesus. That <laughs> seems good. <laughs> that is a good idea. Do you know what I, I was googling all day yesterday? I was like, <laughs> me and Shake were in the Uber to Carol. How to spell Mississippi? <laughs> How did Jesus die the second time? <laughs> well, that is such a good qu- wait. Am I dumb for not knowing this? Either? It's crazy. Like, people have a car accident. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking like T-bone, bro. Yeah. Right in Damascus. Jesus. It was terrible. It was 1945. He was there for a while. Yeah, he opened up a Jesus. bakery and shit. It was you know he was low key. It was for him a while. and the real Paul McCartney. They're in the same damn car. Oh my god. Maya. Uh, well, how how did he? I'm dead. So just to, for a quick diatribe, he did not die a second time. He went up. Oh, he decided he to rose. peace he left. out. He left on his own terms. He rose! Yeah. Yeah. Awesome Chris Angel shit. That's awesome. Um, but no, I think that that is revealing, because if you were 31, right, mm-hmm. that is why you had a Marvel-themed Halloween party, right? So it's like, because if you why? were 25, you wouldn't have done that. Aiden would do that. No, Aiden would he definitely wouldn't. do that. No, He's... he absolutely wouldn't. I got real, we got real life stories. You got a real life story? <laughs> you got a real life, you got a This couple. is like what they say on like True TV. I got real life stories. Me re- and Josh have been slopping up the factor. Mm, oh, we, I, 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 it's funny because it's so easy. You actually pop it in my grave, two minutes. You, well, you poke the holes. I love poking the holes. The pull. Oh, I love poke, it so much. Do you poke the holes for you and Josh because you like doing it so much? Mm, uh, yeah, well, what I do is I take it, I poke the holes, <laughs> two minutes in the microwave, and then I put it on the ground like a little dog bowl for him. Yeah. yeah. And, then he can, and then he comes out of his room on all fours. He shakes the water <laughs> off. You might think it's crass. It's how Australians eat. It's yeah. cultural. It's, it's just how they do it. And so, but yeah, Josh and my, me have been enjoying the, uh, the, yeah, but the, the 35 plus meal choices and the 55 plus weekly. What do you options. eat? 
We have. Uh, it's mostly. I get the protein ones, so you know it's chock full. It's actually so much protein. It is. I. I it's funny because I'm gushing, and it's it's sponsored, so it's kind of cringe. But God, they give you so much, so much protein. Like 40 That's grams. good for you because you work out all the time. I do work out. Questionably good for Josh because he's not hitting the protein. Weight. Still helps even if you're not working out. It does. It helps him game in those long gaming <laughs> sessions with his dusty ass Alyssa. Uh, but yeah, factor prepared by chefs, approved by dietitians. You know what the fucking vibe is, dude. Hey, if you have a chance, try the turkey chili. That one's my favorite at that right now. Oh, uh, yeah, and too. if you don't have a chance, go to factormeals.com slash the art 50 and get a chance and take a chance on me. Wait, what code was it? John <laughs> Lennon Emporium has children. <laughs> Maybe your there's a trap door like and they, there's, there. there's, there's small oh. children and they're on hamster wheels. They like and working they run there. And they make Use the lights Use code The turn. Yard 50 to get 50% off at factormeals.com slash The Yard 50. Uh, there's and, 50 and children on the, in the tunnels. Save money on your phone bill by using <laughs> factormeals.com slash The Yard, America's number one ready to eat meal kit. I bet Michelle Kari would know what to say about this right now. Michelle? We had the Marvel Party <laughs> in 2022 when it was still... Cool, I think. Right. I think... I don't think so. It was still <laughs> cool. But I'm saying... Aiden, you don't have to side with me, be honest. Is uh, it not cool? Right now? It's not well, cool not right, right now. now. it's not. I mean... It wasn't that long ago. It, I'm saying... I freaking love Marvel. Okay, <laughs> when, when did, when did it come out? This is what when it did, feels like. It's like this all the time. When did Endgame come out? 2019. Like, uh, the day after that, it became not cool. 2018, 2020. Because I watch Endgame, yeah. and then everything after that, I feel like... After, made... after you watched it, it really went downhill, oh, huh? That's what I'm saying, because I was like, I'm out, and everyone's like, wait, me <laughs> wait, too. Wait, out, because I'm out. Spider-Man. The, the different, the, what, what hurts is, is you are 31, and you had a cool party with all of your friends and put a lot of effort and love uh -huh. into something, and for Halloween, when I had Halloween, I think I slept on the floor at like 6 p.m. Right, and I'm so saying so you're missing Halloween. So no matter how much I think something is like, he doesn't hate Marvel. I, I roll my eyes or something like that. You're having fun mm -hmm. with your life. Mm -hmm. Slime, I, you are invited. You are welcome you to come. Want, <laughs> you wouldn't come. You can leave I, this I room if you I, choose. I would and I would. I, oh, you know what? But I was, no, 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 no. I was saying I, I, would, I would appreciate the invite, and I would I would love that so much to be invited. But I just wouldn't summon don't, the energy. You can't. I don't didn't even, ask. No. Would you come? Would you come if it was Stan's themed? Of course. <laughs> Of course right, I well, would. Don't and invite him. Love, we don't love invite doing him stands. places. Look at what on his, look at what's on his hat right now. Don't invite him places. What's on your hat? I want you to tell the boy what's on your hat, hat on, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's, <laughs> do you know what goatee is? It's. I'm no. sorry. I'm You're so, a millennial. How do you? I'm Fine. sorry. I'm gonna explain this to you. But it comes. Are there people yelling? Zipper. Yeah, <laughs> zipper. Zipper is also surprised. Many people. Zipper is a few people. I don't think. Okay. I don't think we need to pull up the image zipper. All right. Keep your fingers down off the keyboard. <laughs> no, I'll see the image. No, 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 she, no, no. She's been through a lot of shit. She fought human oh, so beings <laughs> in a boxing ring. We can't, we can't just say, oh no, not for her. Let's protect Michelle. No, it's yeah. women's history. You're right. Really that's true. why right. we shouldn't. No, <laughs> no, that's, no. That's, that's why we I vote to show her what we're talking okay. about. Okay, I will show her. Group vote. Group vote. Aiden, uh, I vote no. So you're the tiebreaker. I'm voting no. I'm voting no. It's two yeses, two noes. So you're the tiebreaker. <laughs> Jesus, I over. I don't think. What I, is this? Okay. Is this scary? Well, we should tell no. you what it is first, and you can decide if you want to. Okay. See it. A so, goat. Goats. <laughs> in, in some ways, maybe. Uh, great, a greatest of all time. It comes if from, you will. It comes from a website <laughs> called goatsea.cx or goat.cx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which people said sounds like goatsy, and it was a website where no, goats were goat having sex. sex. No, it's okay, it sounds oh. like goat sex. Sorry, yeah, it sounds like goat it's, sex. It's, in the early uh, aughts, it was fun to post a shock image uh, to people, much like Rick Rolling, but you know, definitely something you and wouldn't you would want to open. And you would just make it a website. Okay. Like, like Lemon Party yeah. or Meat Spin. These were all different Do you shock know these sites. ones? No, oh, that's crazy. I mean, I just avoid the internet. Okay, like okay. I'm a part of right. the internet, but I'm like Ludwig and you guys release so much content. I released nine videos last year, so like, so if you I come so and I go, if you avoid the internet and you want to look at Goatsy, it's kind of like saying I want to try football and then playing in the Super Bowl. For the but that's kind of her thing. thing. Hit by a linebacker. Okay, that is your thing. That's what I'm saying. Is this challenging? So, okay, load it up. <laughs> the goat scene. Load it up. Uh, <laughs> zipper, hold on to it, and I'm going to set the scene, okay? You're on a StarCraft <laughs> forum in 2004. Mm -hmm. You're on a gateway computer. Oh, you really shouldn't be on the internet, but you are because mom's not home and you're just fucking around on the computer. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're at the library. But 
Oh, so we're just talking about goats no, 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 having no. sex? No. Like reproducing? I, I, I wish. I wish. Honestly, I, I wish. So bad. Just, and let me say that's this She's going to continue yeah, saying right? that's nature. And, and you're on a computer and, and you're on this big IBM style keyboard and the keys are in your. And you're just clicking around on the StarCraft forum, and then someone says, yo, just found out a new way to uh, play the game. Check okay. this out. And it's a blue hyperlink. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're like, well, thank God, finally. And then you click on it. No, hold on. We can't just raw show her. What the fuck? Explain we what it is. She has to know what it is I and decide like if she movies. wants to see it. It's not. Wait, is this gory? No, kind of. Kind it, of. Okay, uh, go. What, Michelle? I just can't. Simply put, simply put, I'm gonna stop it. We're we're going longer than the MatPat thing. Simply put, <laughs> it is somebody spreading their butthole, but t- to such an insane it's about degree. About the size of a third of a soccer ball. That y- you could fit, you could fit a mason jar inside. And it's it's something and that then you're seeing ev- all the inside of the person from butthole POV. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's and it's and it's it's something you should. And his see. hat is if Mario was doing it. <laughs> and so if you that's look, how deep that is. <laughs> it is a it is a generational internet thing. I so, think all I've learned from this conversation is why we really need women's history. <laughs> and probably uh, probably a female president. How is this not women's history? Also, the guy <laughs> the guy doing it. Is engaged. Is, he has a stop. he has a wedding ring. <laughs> stop putting your hands like that. You wanted to see it. That we that you're revealing that you have looked at this image so long. Oh my you god, we all have. To, to be clear, to be clear, he sends this image to people. No, I don't. The Mario one. The Mario no. one. Yeah, it's Super Mario sixty four Mario doing it, which is, <laughs> which, which is way more Yo. chill. Yeah, and by the way, Marvel's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> the disease in my brain says that this is cooler than Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, we have to go Michelle, to I, have a, I have a question for you. <laughs> Say, your company probably has a means of communicating with one another, right? Like a Slack or team oh or something like that? Because I stopped. Is I this a this hard pivot or is this still no, no, this is relevant. This is relevant. I'm my like you, might, right. you might use like an instant messaging service to talk to your employees. We say, have a Slack. Say one of your employees... Posted Mario spreading his asshole in the channel. That happened. <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> that happened to in our Slack channel. What, what happened? happened in your company? Well, well it's it at my. At, you know, I. <laughs> I don't even. This is so um, interesting. <laughs> I think. Where did Slime um, go? Get his phone. He get his phone. <laughs> is he gonna show me this? No, no, okay, no. Okay. We pray not. We pray not. <laughs> okay. Um. Genuinely, if someone posted that i think we would delete it and have a conversation with them mm. because oh, fuck. it would be so like I give with our group of people it'd be <laughs> so far out of left field right. right but you know so you don't each hire has a people different culture. well right. it wouldn't be it actually wouldn't be out of left field it would just be a loop back to the origin you could be like hey guys check out this cool link <laughs> <laughs> so I do that. You've yeah, never seen it. Clicking, clicking a link in Microsoft Teams. Found a new project. This is we should do up because Nick Yingling is the one that did this, no. and I was the one who was like, I, "We don't that do is true. that." I did, heavily, really? I did yeah. heavily imply that he was the one yeah. who did this, but he did not. I, I know. He's respect for the work. The so I knows how to be a professional. It is rare, but he can't do it. I'm 33. Uh, I have a hard pivot <laughs> off of Goatsy, which I think we all need. Can we wait? Wait, no, no, no. Can I show you guys an image that I think is almost as bad as Goatsy? No, no. I know, okay. I know the tone. It's not going to be that bad. Okay, all right. Okay. He's, he, so this is an image uh, that could also be used as sort of a shock uh, because oh it's... My oh, oh, my God. It's probably the worst... It's just a fruit. It's probably the worst picture of someone ever taken. Right? Oh, it's a person? No, it is a human sure. being. Yeah. No, don't no. do this. Zipper, please. Strap in. Well, that's not very nice no. to the person. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that look like I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> Dude, this is, is this from yesterday? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Tom Cruise 9 G Force. I look like, <laughs> I, look like I, I look like I am shitting myself. <laughs> Dude, Mike was over last night. They were like, Dude. yo, uh, the, I think Todd took the worst picture of Nick ever in the history of his life. Yeah, that's not the top five, I don't think. I like how me. Todd snapped that and it's like, yeah, I'll put that in the album. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Ludwig. Go I, thought was, I thought you were gonna be shake drizzle there. I thought no, it was shake. I know. That's why I fucked all of you up. No, yeah. Except Michelle, because she didn't know. The shake drizzle so contact. Do you, do you think I'm the worst thing you've ever seen in that photo? No. Thanks. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, you're having fun. To. Yay. Okay. Hard well, pivot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the goatsy talk. You said 
that the Halloween thing, which took you several weeks to put on, mm -hmm. took away from work time. Yeah. Which surprised me because in my mind, the way you do your videos, you can kind of formulate them so it's stuff you also want to do. Like you can just kind of make a video about whatever. But I assume you try to cater it to what you want to do or do you not? So when... When we choose what episodes we're going to make, it's a combination of things I'm interested in, but also things we think our audience would be interested in. I don't know if, like, challenge accepted, we're throwing a Halloween party would perform very well. Really? Yeah. I feel like I it should be. So. What's really? so genuine? And I, why? Really? Why do you think so? Would well, you watch I, that video? I Well, I think to the degree, if, if you probably have to, like, some elevated bit, like the stance thing, but something that a normal person would like, not just us in this room. I think it'd be a good short. Mm. I don't know about a long. Mm. Are you on that tip? That's on such that shorts? a YouTuber. I've done a few shorts. Mm. I'm not. I I know you have mixed feelings about shorts too. Well, I think they're a blight, a a, a blight, a disease, an illness mm. on this world. Mm. That <laughs> on the world, on the on the world at large that yeah. you indulge in, that I indulge and partake in. Mm. Yeah, I deliver this blight. You're a merchant of death. I am. Mm. I What's, am. What change? What Nothing. change? I worked you know, at a vape company. Sell, a lot of people sell vapes to uh, children. Not the children specifically, but they were part Mostly of the group. Mostly your children. They look well, like iPods. The vapes look like iPods, so children probably buy them. So you could use them at school and not get in trouble. Yeah. We're getting distracted. This is true, <laughs> by the way. I'm not kidding. Yeah, not a joke. This is a real thing he did before streaming. Uh, do you not think shorts are a blight? Well, the reason I haven't done a significant amount of them is because I feel like it inflates, like it, it, it bifurcates the audience and then inflates your subscriber number. Pause. Computer bifurcate. bifurcate. You just said blight. <laughs> bifurcate. That's what Ada does on it weekends. Means you, you like develop an audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's right. Up. Yeah. So then you, bifurcate means to, I guess, divide into two uh, branches. So then you have a long form audience. Two roads bifurcate. Short... Yeah. yeah. In, a, in a wooded. In the, yeah. In the, the wooded. Yeah. So then I, I don't know. Like I, there. Are, I feel like there are people who've run into an issue where you grow really fast on shorts mm. but then it doesn't convert to longs and it doesn't the the majority of our revenue is from long so i don't want to mm. mess that up but sometimes we release a short because it's fun sure. if the bread it was where if shorts was the bread at would you be more of a shorts like creator i like, think i would still do both okay. i feel like long form is just a really cool storytelling device and yeah. the yeah. things i'm most interested in are best told in long form that what? is but. what makes me hold on to hope because you you cannot it's impossible tell a full story in short form content. Wrong. You can only get from you can only complete a story. You cannot tell an in depth story. You well, can't truly build in depth characters. You can't uh, do anything that a long form medium would do on like a on like a detailed level. You can only you can only yeah. tell a story from in a in a from a poem's view. Basically, but I one would argue, and I'm one, and I hate content. Is that you can you can turn any amount of narrative into the same size of cookie if you're good enough. What, what was that streaming service that bombed? Was it called Quibi or something? Yeah, Quibi, yeah, yeah. But even that was like 15 minute <laughs> yeah. clips. It yeah. wasn't that short. But, I think you can tell a complete story, but it's not as rich of a story. I mean, the, the, the short, like crude example would be: you don't give a shit. Spoiler: you don't give a shit that Walter White dies. What if, the if it's, fuck? If it's told in a <laughs> Don't short, you say everyone say Breaking Bad. Barbie Breaking Bad. This is Breaking Bad. I've never seen, seen it. This out? I'm on season you two. If you, if you, you ever, if you ever seen, yes, I watched season you're, one. You're actually Bro, serious. You're I'm only dead season ass. Season I only saw season one. Eat shit. This is like him saying, "Dude, oh, they, they kill Dumbledore dies, bro." I and just, you're like, "Bro, spoilers." This is the first I've heard of this, and it's news to me. And I also don't like the trend of saying spoilers with zero lag and then just saying the thing. Because then why even say spoilers? It's right? okay. He dies at the very last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Bad's not way too long. It's a great show. You couldn't tell, that, you couldn't tell that, the story of that guy in, in less than 60 seconds. Yeah, True, but then yeah. it's like, okay, a, no movie no investment. a movie can't do what a 60 episode series can do. So there's these levels of involvement. There is. But I, That's I, why the mediums exist differently. I, I know what you're saying, but I do think there is... Our brains are wired for narrative understanding so well that we can take a vine and feel pretty strong. That's not what I'm saying at all. Because you can still you mad. can still appreciate a short and think it's good and follow a story and get hooked to a story. Yeah. But there is a different medium to do that more in depth that'll always exist. That shorts cannot completely eradicate because of that fact. Yeah, I don't think their job is to eradicate them though. I think that's the fear, is that people's attention spans are shrinking so much that there will be no place for long-form narrative content. Yeah. I think we're realizing that's not actually true. Because 
longer videos online are still existing and still doing well. I once pitched this idea to Ludwig. Now dream with everyone. Mm. Okay. Dream with me. Mm. Uh, there's this room Good in, night. I think, Minnesota. It's completely silent. There's a couple of these in the world where you can't hear anything because it's all acoustically uh -huh. like perfect. And it's actually very jarring to be inside of it because, you know, there's ambient noise. There's a siren. You can hear that right now. And there's ambient noise, but like when you're in this room, it's like there's nothing. It's zero, mm -hmm. zero sound, zero dB or minus whatever. And it's very scary and weird. And I had this idea, let's go to that and fart in it, right? Very boy coded idea, you know. Okay. And Ludwig, I pitched this to Ludwig and I was like, what do you think? He said, it's better as a short. I agree. Interesting. Yeah. But what about the journey of like eating a lot of PF Chang? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why it's good as a, the reason why it's better as a short is because it can be told in one sentence and people are just going to skip to the end anyways. Right, okay. But have you no. heard of the hero's journey? <laughs> I mean, you, can still have a hero, you can still have a hero's journey. <laughs> yeah. More but what you just described, like you guys having PFJs, that's like a three second <laughs> shot. Just, no, what if it's a lot not, of PFJs? <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking the majority of our long form videos, there are pieces you can pull to make shorts, but I could, you know, one of our most recent videos, I attempted Harry Houdini's deadliest magic trick. Hmm. That's not something I would. Maybe the final attempt of me doing it could be a short, but it's not even earned. You also have to explain point. what it is. I feel like right. You have to explain. I, it's a. I think I'm going to put it. It's yeah. not earned. Yeah, earned yeah. is a good word. That it's, you know, water torture cell, and I spend six weeks with a free diver and learning how to hold my breath, like David Blaine did. It's like in the Prestige, where uh, it's actually his like twin the whole time. No, I've seen this one, so you can't get me there. I saw it on a plane. Let's just spoil I movies. I saw it on a plane. Yeah, just make people... Uh, I asked this to Mr. B. Letting a shot in the head. What, what, what movie do you think is... Or movie. What's your... Uh, what video are you most proud of? Because Mr. B said mm. to this answer, to, to wet your palate, is it's always the last one I just did. Because why wouldn't it be? Yeah, he really put his jersey up on the wall with that one. Wow. It's, my, it's yeah. my next one. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I think I think the Houdini one. And I'm also really proud of the the boxing documentary that too. That was so good. Uh, Is there anything you've you've made that you wish you hadn't done or like didn't that you didn't enjoy doing? Um there are definitely times when we're making videos where I'm training for something for an extended period of time and I'm not happy with like my progress or it's not going the way I wanted it to. Like, I, I really struggled learning how to hold my breath for three minutes for the Houdini video. And that was really frustrating. I also think that my experience trying to play chess was really frustrating for mm. me, too. Because I was like, th this is yeah. when I realized I couldn't yeah. be a streamer. I was like, I, I can't do this. What, why? Because um, they kept saying fucking rook to e4 and stuff. And you're like, shut up. Is that why? Um, <laughs> because... Because in ch ah in chess when you when you when you when you gain elo and then you lose it, it drives me fucking crazy. I'm like, why can't I just go up? Yeah. Let me let me let me have failures and still be okay we with are, it. We are the same. Elo doesn't allow that. Yeah. It does not welcome failure, it, it and that's a be, bad it low, life it lesson. Bad. You want the candy, the candy in your head when you see the little number go up. Sometimes it's nine points, and you're like, oh, 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 oh. yeah. Can it only go up? And if I and if I don't do, I'll just leave it the same. Why do I have to be punished we, no, no, for this, my faults? I, I see what you're saying, but yeah. we have to have the punishment. You know what the beautiful thing about ELO is? <laughs> it is the most you thing you've ever said. We, we need have it. to have punishment. We need no, no, shame I'm to with, feel the other parts. I'm with Slime. You, you, you <laughs> naively believe that ELO is something you gain, but it is not. It is something you take from someone else. No. Oh. And it has well, to be now that I way. Feel That's like cold. an awful yeah, person. Beast. That's cold. That was beast. Wow. What, how long did it take yeah. you to get to 1,000? Eight months. Really? A long time. But that's because I would get really frustrated, and then I was like, I can't play chess for a it week, took and then me I like go back. six. So about the same. And okay, I keep I fucking <laughs> I'm not, I, I promise I'm not, because I would just mauled and play chess on my phone for like two hours a night, and just like, there was a time, my, my roommate Josh, I like lost a game, and I just whipped my phone across. <laughs> yeah, I would get so I just, mad. I whipped it onto the couch. I'm like, I'm fucking done. They and play like animals. Yeah. I can't do this. And when you and like when you're animals. streaming, and I'm like, like <laughs> literally, like hair on fire, so angry at at chess.com. Chess.com is a great group of people. I'm not mad at the website. Danny Wrench, we find you accused of being a terrorist. Me and Michelle both think hey, this. Hey, Danny, check out this cool link. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So. Uh, 
and and the the that that part of it was was quite difficult I think that for me. the so I also play chess, and I'm, I I get very upset when I play. not anymore. But in my height of my chess, I, I was getting very tilted while I played. And I think the the issue with chess is that the game has more access and ability to play immediately than almost any other game in the world. You can start a game at any time of any day with no problems with ping, play anyone in the world, and the second your game is over, you can do it again with no break. Mm -hmm. And I think that like the way tilt works in my head, at least, is like. You get up here, you get up here, up here, then you're this mad, right? And then you start a new game, and you're you're cooling down, but then you lose again, and you're not you have no time to to reset mental. Yeah, like like Valorant, where it's like you have so much time before another game ends. Uh, and so for chess, man, it makes it makes me a, an evil guy. It makes me so mad. I've heard him on. I've heard him bang some tables. Dude, yeah. I just. It's just like that was a fucking Maybe mouse slip, so and you think you're so mad. smart. I, when they think they're good, they that's think they're so okay. Do you know they, 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 they die. That's a great they question. Type. It's a great question. And even if they don't type, you can tell by the way they move their pawns. Like that was so fast. You think you're so funny and smart. It's because disease. You're moving it's fast. Illness. You're moving fast because you think I'm dumb. It's like Michelle. It's like. Isn't that playing well though? To no. Move quickly. Okay. No. They would never give them that. No. Moving quickly is moving with arrogance. I wish I could. I don't need to, I don't need to calculate. But it's a, but it's a timed, <laughs> it's a timed be, game. That's top five no. cringiest things you've ever seen. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I love how you're like me. I finally, no, finally I get to see a friend. We're right. At first, we're right. Thought, at first I thought I was realizing that it's like there's a rager in you just, just like them. And maybe we're all the same. But oh, now I'm fucking I'm seeing, pissed. Now I'm seeing I'm the pissed. divergence. Hold on. Have you ever played Super Smash Brothers Melee? Or to Super Smash Brothers. So general. here's the thing. I know obviously know you guys are big in that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an N64 growing up. So the, my only experience really with it was like going to my neighbor's house and let me playing. Let me we break this down the to them in a way that they understand. <laughs> Imagine you're playing Smash. Imagine you're playing Smash and your opponent just starts walking the whole game. Yeah. You can Ooh. do that in chess. <laughs> You I mean, can, can there's just, ways to do that Aiden in chess. Is getting, uh, his face is turning red. And, and you would think walking, that's just one of the, the moves in the game. Why no, would that be that's a disrespectful move of or BM? Okay. It's like, well, they are they are purposely with not using resources available to them, like time, to say to communicate to you subconsciously, I don't need those resources. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely imagine you. it in boxing, because it happens in boxing all the time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You like can key charge. If you press all four buttons in boxing. You key charge, and it's considered a taunt. <laughs> what? She laughed because she plays Tekken, too. Do you no. play Tekken? <laughs> no way you play Tekken. There's no, no way. No. She opens this with, Wait, I don't what play is, games. What is an actual example of this in boxing? What, like, and it's boating. an example when like someone drops their hands and, yeah. like, yeah, they're like, you know, they're like, yeah, they're dancing yeah, yeah. or like yeah. waving their hand or like they yeah. do things to taunt you. Yeah. Uh, that's a little more explicit, but it's the same idea of like, you know, I don't need to be fully And then when they move a pawn quick, it's the same. <laughs> don't act like you don't fucking, do not act like you don't fucking think this. Do not. Yo, you're you doing this for the gram and I hate it. I can't be hurt. I know I'm right. Can you get a picture of Nick and then grayscale it oh, and then put dude. the quote he said about moving quickly is moving with arrogance? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's actually smart as hell. Come on. <laughs> fucking, they're beating my ass. Help me out. I can't help you because I've been in this spot so many times. They just have to, they think they're right. We think we are right. And we will just be at war forever. Look, I also get mad at chess. I just think I have more benevolence, much like Michelle. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> then you three We're are weird. Three teams. Teams. <laughs> I, I have a, a question for you. Okay. Before, before <laughs> not you. Not you. For our guests. <laughs> what the fuck would I ask you? The funniest thing you've ever said. Actually... You were supposed to chess box, is that right? I was, yeah, yeah. So you could test both of these tactics in the next event. Oh, you yeah. could move a pawn fast, and you could drop your hands and see how that works out for you. I would, I would love to. You could box <laughs> each other. Mm. You want to go? Ah, uh, well, I don't know, like, like sanction because you, you, you stopped the last one because no, we're safety. both old. We can fight. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Come on, Come on, dude. That's why I had to get moved off of Ethos. Ludwig takes safety very seriously, and that's why important. he has people, you know, play mental and physical games against each Slime, other you on have his channel. A lot of body. Mm. Wait. What a nice thing. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> to say. You're so huge. you can't fight her legally. You Unless know, you want to drop to her weight. Class. Or I could fight in a bomb suit, which is 65 pounds oh. that they wear like bomb techs wear. So last week I actually went to Bomb Squad Academy and I had to wear like basically <laughs> double my body weight to disarm a bomb and do all these physical tasks. It was the like so so awful. hard. This is like Jeremy. Like, I could wear that. Yeah. That sounds fucking insane. I, I think you could <laughs> beating 
it, uh, and this is an old way of thinking, and I recognize that, but beating a woman in boxing as a man is already... <laughs> You already don't win that, right? I and also then beating think a woman wearing a bomb to suit be clear, is also... You said... Sounds great I quote, for me. Do you want to go? <laughs> it's win- okay. And now you're saying, I wouldn't care if I won. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I'm not. I'm saying that other people would say, what the fuck are you doing? And that's hard to deal with. But... Who knows if you'd win, man. I would treat the fight with the utmost respect, but not if you're wearing a bomb suit. What if you both so wear bomb I have suits? To, it's almost like so we have to you have to start some fight each other. It's almost like a, <laughs> it's almost like the bomb suit is sending a message that she doesn't. The handicap is not in the way of this fight Dude, for her. She wins him. with the bomb suit. That'd be so beast. Yeah, yeah. I like that would without. be beast. It would. But I think it'd be. And real, then she pulls out your heart like it's a bomb. It'd be suit. way funnier if you just gained fifty <laughs> pounds for a fight. <laughs> Like, that's insane. That's a challenge accepted. Anyway. Video. Challenge oh accepted. <laughs> challenge accepted. I gained 50 I gained pounds and then rip Slime's heart out of his chest <laughs> like the Temple of Doom. Like <laughs> and then I'll move my pawns very fast. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, no! Ludwig, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money. I'd love to be on that tip. What is it? You need to stop shopping at the John Lennon Emporium of used goods. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, Let's not get crazy, crazy here. Because you keep buying those sunglasses. You have 100 pairs now. Help me juggle you, my you. finances. Okay. John Lennon Emporium, $2,000 a month. That's too much. My phone bill, $3,000 a month. Your phone bill is $3,000 a month? Groceries, $40. Okay, okay what if one I thing I can help you with that won't change your lifestyle of going to the John Lennon Emporium, yeah. which is a weird place. It's super I, weird. I don't, uh, they have I his real like, body there. But the phone, yeah, <laughs> it smells. The phone thing, you can, you can actually just use Mint Mobile. You know it's $15 a month. That doesn't seem like a real fucking number. It is a real 15. fucking number, I promise you. It's too low. You probably get nothing. <laughs> the plans come with a limited talk and text. You get 5G, nation's largest 5G network, and you can use it at the John Lennon Emporium, even though I disagree with that lifestyle choice. I bet you need a limited talk the way you yap. Nick, you say something. Dude, you don't even, you can literally <laughs> keep your phone in the, your same number. You can just transfer it over. Yeah, with all those pictures knows. at the John Lennon Emporium. Yeah, you can keep all your, your photos in the clubs. cloud of the John Lennon Emporium. I don't have to get rid of this. You no. don't. But, but we would like you to get rid of the other aspect of your life, which is these glasses, which we don't like. But come together. <laughs> you go to midmobile.com slash the yard and you can live better than Ludwig is currently because he's throwing his money away on his phone bill. Midmoney.com, midmobile.com slash the yard. It's $15 a month. That's actually crazy. Mint I'll see you guys. It's in Hollywood. The John Lennon Emporium on their Tuesday. John Lennon Emporium <laughs> is for Civil we, we can't help viewers with that problem, but we can only help with your phone bill. If you go to mobile.com slash the yard. yard. How, how many times did you spar like, leading up to your fights in general? I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, twice a week. You spar for... t- twice a week? Yeah. That's beast. Yeah. yeah. For how long? That's for a lot long of long um, Leading up to the event, I guess it was 10 weeks. Because we... Andrea and I found out quite close to the event that this was happening. And you don't really, shouldn't really spar unless you have something coming up because it's dangerous. So once we heard it was happening is when I started sparring twice. Yeah, influencer boxing is crazy because it'll be like three months before. Like Andrea's, her other fight I think was like six weeks before or something. That's so impressive. That's just crazy. Piece of that shit. You gotta like find someone who's already pretty fit or else it's, it's not good. They have to be in the boxing scene. Yeah, they have to be training. Yeah. Or of similar fitness. Yeah. yeah similar and fitness. In, in your case, chest ELO too, or inexperience. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's really hard to find people who are matched physically and mentally in that mm. way. I might have overcame Stock Guy. He has, he, he's like 200. He doesn't play the game. Maybe. No, it, like you're it'd be so sad to beat him just in chess. I know. I, I think about it sometimes. And yeah. I'm like, what, what would that be? Why, I don't know. Why ELO drops a lot in that ring. I heard Point Crow was telling me that it's really Dude. hard. The, um, After you get hit in the head, what do you think? What's the, what was the grandmaster? Yeah. What was her name? I only did one of those things. I couldn't imagine doing both. Dina Belenkaya? Dina, she missed, she missed Maiden 1. Mm-hmm. Something that like would be like a 800 level puzzle. She missed, eight, she missed Maiden 1. I was like, dude, she's got to be so confused. Is she? Yeah, this was at uh, chess boxing. Oh, wow. I think that was Chris Broad. No, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I, think I it remember was. this. Do you ever get a concussion? Don't make it cute. Why? I mean, a little my nose broke. No what? shit. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. That's crazy. In the um, fight or in the during, in sparring? In round, I don't know, like three or something. Oh my God. My nose broke. Oh, And then we shit. finished the fight. And then after they pulled me out of the ring and I was like, woohoo. And they're like, you've got to see a doctor. Oh my God. <laughs> and then when everyone was partying, I was in the ER, like, in this very bizarre confusion of extreme adrenaline like coming down from that and like i can't believe it like that was awesome and they're like wow you have a double black eye your nose is broken you need to go home holy shit yeah so i had like full like double black eye and my nose was like the size of i don't know like a muppet's nose (laughs) for three months it was crazy yeah i talked to point crow right after and he he was mid-concussion and he, oh he didn't know he had a concussion he, he, just, oh, no. he spoke and it was a it was urn and then woman carrying urn and then bird and <laughs> that's just what appeared <laughs> just two sides <laughs> compass uh uh and, I, and then he was like i think i should leave and i was like wow. go rest man you, you worked hard i mean concussions are hard because you never there's no way to like on and off switch fully no i mean obviously if, if that's how he's yeah. feeling most likely yeah but i mean no one told me I got a concussion, but I mean, we got hit in the head pretty hard, so probably. Well, yeah. concussion. Is that, is that like the most adrenaline filled moment of your life? Because I imagine the buildup of that. I, fe- I feel like I'd kind of crumple under the nerves leading up to that. You know, it was so interesting because I, like you just mentioned, I'm, I'm also a person who typically gets very stage fright. No matter how much I prepare for something, I always have like a little bit of nerves. And for this, I don't know what it was, but everything felt clear. Like I was like there and it, and it was such a cool experience to have because now just like getting up or speaking in front of people is way less scary to me. Oh, yeah. But it, I mean, I don't think in the front row, you're like a beat your ass, beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think when you are in a situation where your life is at risk, a different part of you comes out and it's, it's a privilege to live through that and get to like know that part of yourself. But in the moment, it's very bizarre. I like, think I look at you the live fo- that I, I, Yeah. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think I experienced this when I played Super Smash Brothers mm. on stage at a tournament one time in front of everybody. <laughs> you think so? Kind of the same thing. Yeah, your life was on the line. <laughs> it was just, anyway. yeah, the yeah. battle. Same adrenaline. Same. Everything was really I know, I, know yeah. I gotta fight the guy after. <laughs> That's me last night with Birio Kart. <laughs> I'm racing drunk as hell. I'm like, this is my life on the line. When's the last time you had stage fright, Dubbin? Mm. It's been a long time, huh? I don't know if stage fright is how I'd phrase it, but I definitely get a bit like uh, I get some butterflies. Did you have butterflies when you interviewed Neil? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, because I, I put him in my domain. Like I got mm-hmm. a K truck. I put him in my truck. And so I just he's he's in my he's in my prison. I he get, was scared. I, I, get get more nervous. <laughs> I get more nervous times like 100 probably. I get more nervous before my next match in melee tournament pools than I do like on stage at Mogul Money Live. Like, it is not the same at all to me. That is totally fine. I'm, like, not worried at all. I'm not scared at all. Playing the game I've spent so much time playing against another person to go forward in a bracket, even though it means nothing, mm-hmm. it, for some reason, I, I get, That's like... That's why the boxing I seems... get crazy anxiety every time. I don't even compete anymore. And if I go, like, once like once a year to go do something, I still have crazy anxiety. Oh, my God. I know when I get anxiety. I'm... It's <gasps> when I set up a date with Cutie. Uh-oh. And I'm like, fuck, I hope it goes well. And we're like doing this thing. We're trying to get somewhere on time. And like there's traffic. And on time's oh. hard for you. And I'm like, oh, no. on time's hard for you. That shit's lovely. stressful. Yeah. yeah. You mean like, like, like you have made dinner reservation somewhere. Yeah. Like it's a Valentine's day or like her birthday or our anniversary. And it's like, I've scheduled this day, whatever it is. And then I have to go th- through the day. In your calendar. Yeah. And, it's, and it's in the calendar. Yeah. It's in you the know, calendar. You know, one time she was like, we don't really hang out much these days. Let's hang out more. And then Ludwig said, I invited you to basketball. Do you well, think- does she like basketball? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also all the guys are there. Yeah, it's like 17 oh, people. She, so she's 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 reaching out to she you wanted, for one-on-one. one-on-one. Right? And I didn't quality time. time. Quality I didn't time and we, and we recover this. And he still brings it up. But, <laughs> I just like getting getting the other perspective. I'm just, I don't know, maybe it's weird. I just like when, you know, my girl hangs out with my friends. Maybe that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, have two, I have two questions. Yeah, what's up? First question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. That bit never gets old. <laughs> I like uh, it. Okay, first question. What is your biggest fear? Uh, and I, I want you to answer it second. And second question is... Wait, I answer the first one second? Yes. After the second Correct. question. Okay. Can you um, keep up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Uh, second question. Um, is there a type of thing, video, product, whatever, that you haven't made yet that you would like to? A medium or a, like you want to make a movie or you want to make a, et cetera. Is there anything you haven't done online or out of online in the more traditional media world that you'd like to try? And a third question, will you go paramotoring with me? Because none of them will. Mm. You want a paramotor? Mm. Yeah, none of them will do it. Mm-mm. Like single person paramotor? Yeah, sure. It's too, it's no, scary. you have to do two probably. I, I, first I, probably, it, probably can't okay. be, I don't want to die like that. I don't want to die like that. Yeah, yeah, he, was, yeah he went down and... with a big old fucking fan on his back for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my so you're nervous saying. playing Smash, but you're cool going paramotoring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a sick, he's a sick, <laughs> sick man. But. Sorry. Can you solve us? If it was tandem. <laughs> <laughs> I, just thought of, I just thought of video ideas that they're scared to do when he was asking this, and mm-hmm. I was like, maybe she'll do it with me. All right, so you'll, t- you'll tandem paramotor for sure if Aiden's the other person. <laughs> um, what do I want to do? I think it would be really cool to... Well, okay, so a career or group of people whose careers I really admire are like Jeff Probst, Steve Irwin, mm-hmm. um, uh, David Blaine, Harry Houdini, even Evil Knievel, because to me, those are all people who have crafted a career that's one of one. Yeah. Like there's truly only one of them in their field who's doing that thing. Jeff Probst is a survivor guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is a, he, one of these is not like the I others. was going to say, he kind of like, <laughs> he does. <laughs> how do you it's funny that you put How did he squeeze in there? I get it, but uh, it's I funny. Think he, I think he, I think he's a masterful host of okay. television. Sure. Mm, and the way he navigates uh producing behind the scenes crafting the stories of you know 30 contestants being there at tribal and like pushing everyone's buttons mm-hmm. but no one gets mad at jeff had you ever think about that no one gets mad at jeff every like everyone views him as just an impartial observer when he's working so hard which i i think should be appreciated i do think he's beast i've started watching survivor i don't think anyone here is a survivor fan outside I of me survivor. and you <laughs> i'm a new survivor fan i watched last season uh, I was Team Jake. He lost, and uh, and yeah, he's he's What's actually season is Ken on an insane host. He's I don't. He's it's like Survivor, around. like a long time ago, like Gabon or something. Yeah, Gabon. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a, it's, it's I, an anime? I think it's like not in Fiji or something. Maybe I'm crazy. It's early because uh, they used to change countries, and now they just uh, stay in Fiji. One of the best uh, Smash players of all time was on Survivor. Oh, mm-hmm. what I'm alluding cool. to. Um, well, I cut you off. You, you, you're um, listing people. Yeah. So yeah, I just think like what each of them has done is unmatched and the, and they're truly a one-on-one person. And so I'm interested in, in that for, for myself, whatever that Do you have means. an idea? Do you have an idea of what, so like all, so what I see when I see all those people is like, they had a love, like a hobby or a thing that hobby turned career or just a passion in general. And then that became their job but yeah. for a, a large audience. Do you have that thing? Because you seem to be like a master of all trades type of like, I'm trying so many different things at once. Yeah, I think like, I guess my corner is being a professional jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. But I think like in a very tangible way, I think hosting would be really fun. You know, I I, even like what Joe Rogan did with Fear Factor is really I was going to say, I was going to ironically ask what you thought of Joe Rogan on Fear Factor, but I watched a lot of Fear Factor growing up. That's where I know him from. Yeah. Is hosting that show. And Is I was right always else? like, yeah, I was like, oh, he, he kind of makes the show interesting to watch, mm-hmm. or he did. And then he, <laughs> then he got different. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting <laughs> element to add, because, like, there's dirty jobs, right? But, like, the point of dirty jobs was never really, like, I want to grind this, and I want to yeah. see it through to the end, and I want to, like, be able to not only say... I did this, but also I see how hard it is to be someone who always does this. And that's what we try to do with Challenge Accepted, because... There are lots of shows of people trying something for a day, Mm -hmm. but I think it's interesting to like fully fold in with a community for an extended period of time and develop that empathy with them for their experience. You, you used to make videos at Buzzfeed, right? Yes. Okay. You're so, such a millennial. Oh, thank that's you. Crazy. That's crazy. We're that's, both millennials. Oh, you're smiling, <laughs> Sam. <Sa>, slime. <laughs> now you know who I am. That's crazy. That's where I, <laughs> that's where I, uh, I think I l- looked you up after you told the Stan story a long time ago for the first time. And I was like, oh, that's where I recognize this person from. Uh-huh. When do you 
make when you decide to leave something like that and do your own thing and pursue this like one of one entertainment identity when did i decide yeah like why when and like why do you like go and pursue something like this rather than working there i mean it was really like the disney channel of the internet and in many ways followed the same thing like Mm. a lot of child stars go on disney channel do their four seasons of a show, get famous, and then go on to do other things. Oh, I guess it's kind of, is it kind of that like comfortable launch point in a way? Like you have the confidence that like some portion of people online will like know me and I can start my own thing now? There were people who strategically used it for that. I mean, like Quinta Brunson was a coworker of mine at yeah. BuzzFeed I and love the Try Guys. Yeah, bastards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that stunk. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking reeked. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I he fucking I you. Oh <laughs> he fucking Jesus you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't know this was coming back to that though. I, I didn't know that it was like somewhat seen as like an intentional pipeline though. I don't think In the it same was. That, like, I think Disney. at the time, you know, like no I don't think any company is like, hey talent, come here for a period of time. So you and can then go, go do leave. your own thing. Yeah, like yeah, nobody yeah. really wants that, I'm sure. The, uh, you know, people are frustrated when they leave to go and do other things. Me personally, I was kind of like there were uh, certain people who had talent based contracts where they were, you know, given uh, resources to develop shows. I was not. I was just like a producer. So when I felt like I had kind of reached the end of, you know, I, I, I was kind of there was a period of time for the first year and a half where I was like, every day I go to work, I learn something new because I didn't go to film school or anything. So I was learning everything there. But when I started getting to the point where I didn't feel like I felt like I'd learned everything I needed to, then I was like, okay, I think maybe I could try to do this myself. And I yeah. did you think, and you have to answer this, uh, you don't have to at the time you were like, I could do this better if I was the talent. I mean, I was talent from time to time there. Okay. I felt more so that I was it was really like, I feel like I've learned everything I can. I've kind of hit an upper ceiling of yeah. my personal growth here, at least, where they mm-hmm. weren't really giving out talent contracts anymore. And I was like, well, if those aren't really on the table anymore, I guess I have to do it myself. So right. I kind of. Wait, did you have like an immediate vision of being like this jack of all trades person when you no. left? Or is this something you figured out? No, I mean, I, I left with eight weeks of savings, eight weeks of savings. That's I moved beast. into a studio apartment with a roommate. And like what I did for the six months before I left my job was I consolidated all of my living expenses down so that I could at least understand what it would feel like financially to live as if I was totally failing. And so once I got comfortable (laughs) with that, I was like, okay, now I can leave. I have, you know, you microdose being broke. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. I would never. I would never. I started putting cardboard up on the walls of my house. (laughs) Just like trying to imagine, like what it'd be like. (laughs) (laughs) I bred bred a little black mold in my bathroom. (laughs) Started showering (laughs) in the sink every morning. You can't quit your job unless you have some form of privilege or a little bit of savings or something. Sure, so yeah, yeah. I would never, Ludwig never, did. Course, of course, huh? Ludwig did. He had some savings. I got fired. No, no, he got fired. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> dead. Oh, yeah. It's not <laughs> act like it's the same. Did you meet Will Nev at BuzzFeed? I did. Did he say, can you, t- can you, did he sound like this? Oh, here, I got this. Uh, this is your first day meeting Will Nev at BuzzFeed. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will. No, he did not. <laughs> <say that. laughs> Sorry, no, that was Steve-O. Oh, that no, was Steve-O. no. When me and fucking Knoxville were doing the third movie, we realized that this shit's got to be forever. <laughs> this shit's got to be forever. Uh, do, yeah. you, do you think you've... Okay, what's the worst video you've uploaded? And I will preface this by saying the worst video I uploaded is a bros vs. pros against my editor, Shake Drizzle, for a sponsor of this video game and he played the video game like once before <laughs> and we duped the sponsor into giving us a lot of money and and it's definitely the worst video on my channel Barton. wait this usurps Saikuno and and nfl uh madden or whatever is that a video that was the one you, you used to say was probably the worst video. i might have wiped that from my memory <laughs> <laughs> so i got quite a few Michelle. all right i i bat a lot i i take a lot of swings I miss yeah. a lot of balls. Michelle hits that damn ball. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, often. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. You do hit a lot, but I'm saying you probably. I have sent it. two messages. I this my. I, I'm pretty sure this is true. Two messages to YouTubers ever about like I saw your video that was awesome. Just wanted to message you. 
and you have been both of them. I never Aww. got. I never got. Oh I never got a goddamn one. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. You haven't sent Dubin. I uploaded you. two thousand videos Dubin. after Black and White, dude. Last that mobile years. mail, <laughs> you fucking changed my life. So yeah, what's the worst video you've uploaded? Oh my god! Like just in general, I think the beginning of. Ugh, like the beginning of my channel was so unrealized. I was just doing videos of like, what do I think would perform well? I mean, I started again, zero budget, just like reviewing Starbucks drinks. Ooh. Super embarrassing. Cringe. No, Millennial. it's not. No, girly pop. Because <laughs> I want to know what you think about the dragon fruit refresher. No lemonade, just water. I don't know if I reviewed that one. Well, then what the fuck are <laughs> <we> you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I'm not mad because you did the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a waste of time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. You yeah, wasted time. I mean, are these like, videos still up? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. They yeah. are? Ooh, yeah. That's brave. Yeah. Yeah. That's brave. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait. So, oh, hold this. Like, hold this. No, zipper, no, zipper. No, yeah, go back, go back, go back. I would rather see Ghosty than look at this. Please. Please. That's that's real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have real shit. How you got a job at BuzzFeed? <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Those videos are up and that's real. Yeah, because yeah. you listen, can't take them down. I, I, at one point, I was like, I'm going to delete I, I, or unlist all this stuff. And someone at our, our team, maybe was, I think it was Garrett. He was like, no, like it shows people you can start at the very bottom <laughs> yeah. and get somewhere. Well, you, I, can, uh, you can have a busted ass video and yeah. still make it. You know, and that's oh my beautiful. God. <laughs> So when I when I was uh, in middle school, like like the end of elementary school, so like fourth fifth grade, and then going into middle school, uh, I wanted to be a YouTuber really bad. That was like the job I wanted, and uh, I was making videos like weekly with my friends. Mm -hmm. I was copying like Smosh and like all the big YouTubers at the time, and I had this like big YouTube channel with like hundreds of videos, and a lot of them were very like you know they were shit, but they were like narrative, like they were like they had an idea, and I was actually like writing stuff down and filming it all, and. Uh, when I, when I got into middle school, I got bullied really hard because people found out I had a YouTube channel and people were making fun of me. I got so upset oh. about it that I just deleted the YouTube channel. And now, older, as someone who, like, directs and, like, works on stuff, I would give, like, anything to have all those videos mm -hmm. back. Because now I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Those, those aren't embarrassing anymore. They're, they're fun to see what I was thinking about. Like, what was I trying to do? And I have, like, one of them. Like, still, I have, like, one left. You want to like, hear yourself say in slurs on Call of Duty that bad? <laughs> Not that channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a twelve-year-old. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna delete everything when I get home. The second I get no! home. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zebra, can you back but yeah, up? Yeah, I mean, her I think like <laughs> <laughs> just the early stuff is embarrassing because mm -hmm. it's like an adolescence of developing who you are as a creator and artist, and nobody wants to relive middle school. You know, yeah. having the middle acne school and... of something, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, I think, yeah, I think yeah. in that stage, uh, I don't want to like speak on your behalf, but like in that stage of early like creation, you're you're just copying the people you see. You're trying to do something that you feel will get other people to care, and I think you create a version of yourself that, in hindsight, doesn't really look like you. You're mm -hmm. like, who is this person tr trying to be? And eventually, over time, you figure out what it is you want and who you are and what you're trying to say, and you find you know the thing you make, uh, which I think is where you're obviously at now. Uh, so it can be hard to look back, at least for me, it can hard be look back at like stuff I was doing and be like, wow, I wanted to be so and so so much more than I wanted to be me. And yeah, it's kind of weird to watch. Is yeah. Or just like, you know, my process then was opening up Twitter, seeing what's trending. OK, how can I make a video about this? Yeah. And that's so that's, the, that's what Eric says he does, right? With like Google SEO trends and stuff. Yeah. He does that? Yeah. He, he's, uh, he, uh, he he like talks about or, like someone talks about him doing like this, like he, the way he blew up on YouTube was he would look up current google seo trends and if it was like gordon ramsay is really trending right now he would make a video like i cooked every gordon ramsay meal from hell's kitchen i yeah. i got suplexed the same way jeffrey epstein did by that assassin <laughs> <laughs> to see if i could live yeah, that week of Eric Ar Ar videos was strange <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I went to every island in the world I was very, wow. really spreading thing <laughs> andrew tate bob and i was like yeah. oh, <laughs> you don't get i never hear you talk about you being embarrassed from your old shit though i think that part of your brain lacks existence no 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 no, no. I, I i'm cool with them i like i like all my old stuff i like all the old hits i think you're so different i think you're like an anomaly rather than most people i feel like are like michelle where they're like ah, ah, don't don't show me don't show me but so you're, you're not like, embarrassed by your old stuff i mean i don't think so a lot of it's good like you got a box right. in me yeah 
It's a, <laughs> this is a parody song I made. It's uh, You Got a Friend in Me, Toy Story. Okay. Uh, but it was when somebody, this guy, Hacks, developed a new controller that you could use for Super Smash Bros. It would be equally hard to explain this to people who lived in the year 800. As <laughs> <laughs> it would to be to explain to people. Is that how out of touch I am? No, no, no. no, no. It's, no. Good it's, it's good to be out of touch it's on this It's good to be out of touch on this one. Okay. It has like maybe 25k views. And and I I don't know I thought it was based I remember I remember vividly <laughs> singing this and then listening to the take and I was like damn like I yeah, you thought you like, killed it you did sing pretty good that. dude you should go back and add like producer tags and like like rapper cameo like real <laughs> trap <laughs> shit <Yeah. laughs> oh my auto tune God. it uh, but I I mean I I'm very happy with where I am now and what I do now and what I make now and that's all part of it and I'm, I'm like they're intrinsically tied together so to like yeah shun away a part of me as if it's not what made me me I think is silly. What have you Aww. two stolen from each other? Because I know you guys always, you watch something, you're like, oh, I'm going to do what she does or whatever. <laughs> have you stolen anything from Dubbin? Uh, I mean, you were doing chess. So then I did pop chips, yeah, I guess. That's kind of my thing is chess. I kind of have that. <laughs> yeah. So you can look at Dubbin old. as this sort of inspiring, like, you know. I mean, generally speaking, and I'm not just saying this, you guys are going to get annoyed probably, but like obviously what Ludwig has done, you know, with your, with off brand and the production company, everyone's cringing here, but I think it's very inspiring. <laughs> also, I'm actually, sorry. you know what, you know what, I will take this opportunity. I was working on a dodgeball live event <gasps> for eight months. <gasps> no way. And then when you announced yours, literally, I was in a group chat with everyone working on the event, and we're all like, oh my god, we can't do it anymore. Wait, do you know why I did the dodgeball event? Yeah, because chess boxing, when, when you announced yeah. that chess boxing got canceled, you're like, we're doing dodgeball, and I was like, dude, <laughs> oh wow. you should have just kept doing it. Do dodgeball. No, 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 it was going to come out like this spring or something, uh -huh. and I was like, everyone's going to think we just copied Ludwig, uh, you piece and of I don't want to do that. I, I, I actually don't believe in this mentality i because we had a similar thing where we were working on a, a taskmaster kind of clone show unpaid intern and we found out that there was another group of creators also making the show and we were like talking about should we rush to get it out like should we and i was like no just like let's just make a better version of it well i it also think to me it doesn't matter there it, it does happen and there is privilege in being a larger creator and and also doing it first mm -hmm. uh Cause you, you, I, I've gotten that before. Like if I do something, even if I, like I, I had this idea where I'd make a fucking song, an Italian song and I'd learn Italian and I'd sing opera. And then I'd pretend it was an AI song. Cause there's so many like AI versions of creator singing. And then the week before, like I'm about to drop the video, Schlatt does something very similar. He just sings a song cause there's so many AI covers of him. I had no idea it was about to drop. I'm like son of a bitch. Yeah, and then you're I, kind of bummed about it. You're like, oh, what what do Aww. I do? Yeah, because like I I put all this time in. I filmed. I learned how to be a gondolier. I think that's tougher because <laughs> it's not derivative. It's like a, it's an original idea. I think mm -hmm. when something is already a bit derivative, sure, sure, sure. Like Taskmaster. I or, think dodgeball. Like, you know, dodgeball we did dodgeball, yeah. and dodgeball is just dodgeball, yeah. right? It's hard to, to say anyone yeah. to, stole from anyone at that point. I think I it's just guess, do a better version. Even than them. like. It was crazy when you released like the branding, you know, whatever. Ours was going to be called like Challenge Accepted Dodgeball Invitational. And mm. we were talking to creators and stuff. But I, I like the color palette, everything. I was like, uh, there is no way we're, mm, we're going to do this wow. anymore. <laughs> but so if you do it again, I'd love to compete. <laughs> you're, you're saying she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't stand on business. She, is that she, what you're saying? No, because I'm saying I've similarly had this. But like, I, I think if it's like I occasionally will do this where I'll talk to a like a creator or a group of creators and you just got to swap like what you're doing to some extent because if it steps on toes too much it can be annoying it's like the tournament calendar Aiden mm -hmm. it is like the kind tournament calendar mm. <laughs> it's like okay well what have, have you taken anything from Michelle mm, I don't know because you I feel like you uploaded nine times yeah nine last year and and like all of your uploads and you upload them are based so if anything what I've taken from you actually I was watching uh, YouTube videos with Squeaks and we're just we're just watching videos, smoking a blunt, freaking our shit like we do. Yeah, mm -hmm. just playing freaking, with that shit. Freaking your just shit. Just easy to lay up with him. <laughs> and we're just pulling up cool ass YouTubers, and and then and then you're part of the group of this cool ass YouTubers. And then Squeaks at one point is like, man, you should just upload less. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like, no, I gotta like, I gotta upload all the stuff. Like, I have to have the cadence. I gotta make a certain amount of money. I get these shorts going. He's like, yeah, I just don't upload the bad stuff though. <laughs> 
I'm like, I'm like, yeah, so she real. Bro versus bros. That's so real, man. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, you kind of. So, I should upload more. That's for sure. Well, Do you think so? Uh, mm. I think I should. I would. Here's the thing. Like, you know, the triangle that's like money, yeah. time, good. Oh, can't, have all, can't have all three. You can't have all three. Yeah. Oh, that's a different one. <laughs> what did you say? I, I have all did three. It's called like doing the yard podcast. Icky guy. Uh, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I get my friends, I get my money, and it's time it's not wasted. It's good for the world. Uh, yeah. Ikigai, guys, the <laughs> yeah. theory that you should do a job that makes you money, that is good for the world, and that you are good at. And this is Daigo the Beast's outlook on Street Fighter. Uh, as well. Our show's not good for the world. No, definitely not. But I, anyway, I don't continue. Have that third one. Oh, I, I just wish we could have a higher cadence of the same quality. I'm Tough. not saying like new stuff or like more frequent, uh, less exciting stuff or anything. I just wish like we could release more yeah. frequently. There have been times when we've tried that, but then we lose. Like I feel like time is such an important part of our storytelling. Even like sitting with it in the edit. Like we spend eight weeks per video in post. What do you think is the bigger hurdle to accomplish that um, scale, or your ability as the only individual who can like be the storyteller on camera? Like like is it is, like it, is it your is it your resource? As like the person who is on the videos, or is it the if you had a million dollars, could you hire a crew large enough to accomplish this? You know, I wouldn't say it's me as a resource because we we shoot ahead. Like we have a few videos mm -hmm. that are like you know ready to be edited. Nec obviously, at a certain point, it will be me. But right now, it's just that some of the subjects we cover are precious to me, mm -hmm. and I enjoy being a part of those. Like, I don't have a yeah. desire to s step away from certain parts of the process. Like, sure. I have tried that before, and people do a fine job. Like, I'm not saying I'm the only person who could do it. But when I do, I'm less ha happy with the job. Yeah. So you're bottleneck, but not as a talent, as, like, a producer who's looking over. Yeah, I think we're bottlenecked in terms of, like, specifically post-production, giving direction quickly with our editors. Because, like, our process is, like... I mean, you're, yeah, you're direct. You're purely a director. You're you're overseeing the whole thing. Well, it's me and Garrett, and Garrett does a lot in post. So it's a lot of like hours sitting with the editors, like mapping out. Like we have you know hundreds of hours of footage. What you know the mm -hmm. hero? What is the hero's journey? Where mm -hmm. is the Dark Knight of the Soul? Where's this? Where's that? And and you experimenting you can potentially relinquish some of that control to like maybe get a twelfth like to, to 12 videos in a year but then you lose the you sacrifice a yourself big part of what it. you enjoy yeah, yeah like i i don't because it's i don't i like i like being part of it it's why i think I it's the most important it. part yeah I, I think i think that uh the the quest to do more at while sacrificing that each video over time will less and less look like you it'll, yeah. it'll be something else yeah which or I think like if we try to do bad. things too quickly then we the the story just isn't I don't know. I, I mean, look, I, maybe maybe I'm super narrow minded. I think nine's fine. You, yeah, you, you make enough money, you make cool shit, you, but definitely work hard enough. I don't think that's the issue. So I call it that. Thanks, in, that's in my head. I call it being in the trenches. So I, I the, my main background is I used to put together video game tournaments and, and like esports events, and the I always disliked having a a disconnected feeling from like the boots on the ground like movement of equipment putting things together because i think as these events grow larger and people do more of them oftentimes the person in charge gets pulled away from the mm -hmm. the floor of the event and being attached to that is a rewarding part of the process on its own but also i think you earn and keep a lot of the respect of the people around you by being embedded in that yeah. process too and I think I like that part. Like, I want to be equal to my teammates in terms of getting this project together. And that's like a that's like another layer of the like reward and happiness on top of on top of what I'm doing. You know, yeah. uh, Ludwig once said no one can edit videos the way I can. I heard this. <laughs> I said that. What the fuck? Didn't you guys talk about <laughs> you it said that to me. <laughs> He, you, no, 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 I, oh, oh, this I, is so much I definitely don't feel that it way. It tells me so, so much Thinking better. about the time scale on oh. which this must have been said Dude. makes it even more he insane. He said this to me. Not, he wasn't just saying that he could, no one could edit his videos like him. 
he was saying I couldn't edit one of his videos like him. Someone who was working as an editor and he was not an editor. I was like, I, if you told me what you wanted, I could do your videos. Yeah, but you couldn't do it like that. That's what, exactly <laughs> what he said. It, so, I, bet, I bet you were playing ball for less than a rack back then. I oh, definitely absolutely. was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think there's, a, there's this idea that delegation is scary if you're a type of a boots on ground type of person. But at the end of the day, like, I think you can get used to it and still get the same the same big cookie out of it. But oh, with, yeah. Without and I mean, like, we still pens. have a, an amazing team. I mean, eight people for nine videos is a large team for the volume mm -hmm. we're putting out. And like when we have large shoots with like 40 crew or whatever, like. There's definitely delegation there, but I definitely recognize I can only do challenge accepted in its current form for so long. And then what? Yeah, that's cool. You, you want to do one thing for every night. Are, are, you, are you retiring? You want to retire five soon. Yeah, five years. You I'm said out. two. Oh, in five years from you now. You said two to five. Two to and five. And you said two. It's feeling closer to five, but it'll be two to five. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I think delegation, it's like one of the, it's weird because it's like it's necessary and you have to forfeit certain parts of the process. Cause I think not even just because to, to open up time for yourself, but just I at every step of the process where I've said no one can do this like me or I'm the best at this, I've just been wrong if I search hard enough. Oh, if, yeah. I, if I find someone who I'm like is really mechanically gifted, but also someone who I think is like really funny, mm -hmm. often they are just better than me if I give mm -hmm. them the, the roadmap. That, and that's good. But then also it's like you don't want to go too far delegating everything. Yeah. You're not even doing and I it anymore. Also, I enjoy the like the the warmth and connection that I have with each person on our team right now. Like we went in the past year from three people to eight. Oh, you scaled so, up a lot. Wow. In the past year. Yeah. I don't really want to scale much this year. At least I want to like re yeah. achieve some homeostasis with the people that we have now. Yeah. What, well, it's interesting because we were talking earlier, like we have 30 and you have uh, eight. But when you look at how many of those 30 are are working on creating a singular product for Ludwig, you actually have a bigger video team. You have more people, it sounds like, working on putting a video on your channel than Ludwig has working to put a video on his channel. Don't you have four editors? Yeah. Okay, we have, we have two and a half. Well, we have two, and then <laughs> someone. Yeah. Is, it, is it eight or so? It's eight or so. Oh, my God. Oh, we have, we have two yeah. full time. Did you bring them with you? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes Michelle DMs me, and she says, just have your best crack at this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and uh, we have someone freelance with us right now. Are you project. ever nervous about scaling up and then needing to make challenge accepted forever because then they'll lose their jobs if you quit? Oh, like you were talking about with your stuff? That he does every hmm. day. Jesus Christ. You know, <laughs> I really empathize with what you're saying because to me, when you hire someone, you're not just hiring that person, you're providing for a family. Slan told me this once. Yeah. When and I hired someone, crazy. he was like, he was like, if you hire someone, you have to understand that you you are literally providing their job. You can't just fire them. Mm -hmm. I told you that? Yeah. Damn, we've done some growing, eh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> this has been like a group. I was gonna say, I was like, you don't us. feel that way. <laughs> no, I do. I I obviously do. But it's funny that I had to tell him that, and now I'm making a joke about being callous and mm -hmm. how funny that is. I've, I have a burning question. Don't say anything. Don't keep your mouth shut. Burning Sanders. Ludwig. I have a burning question for you, and I've been I've been sitting on it for hours. Oh no. What's? I'm scared to meet him. What's my hero like? What's What's Sam from Wendover really like? Um. <laughs> oh, he's great. Um, I think he wanted to kill me when we did jet lag. But he wanted to kill you? No. Well. <laughs> Is, this is the dark part I can know. The dark no, secrets of Sam. Him. Okay. Here, listen. Sam, Sam is so smart and wise, it's terrifying, actually. It's actually scary. This is why I can't fly too close to the sun. I need to only acquire information about him through third parties. Do you want to be on jet lag? <laughs> you guys should go. Dude, I've wanted to I would. This would the Wait, most fanboy. What is jet lag? What is jet lag? I didn't want to ask that question. Jet lag, <laughs> jet lag is Sam's... I don't, I've never show. seen a Wendover video. It's, uh, it's not it's it's very not different. Separate, separate it's very different. a different Two channel. Different properties. Okay. It's Ben and Adam's, I think, baby in part, and they're editors for Sam. Okay. And what they do is the three of them do a travel show. And they oftentimes have a guest. And it'll be like hide and seek in Europe. And they take public transportation. That's usually a big focus of it. it and it's so kind of like the amazing race. Really I want to be on it's really yeah. so bad. I've never been reached out to. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to text, text Sam. We, uh, <gasps> I got this. So uh, you don't have to text. I got this. Wendover for Sam. Um, so we have put in. We have put a Dude, bomb. Make sure you do the text. We have put make a bomb sure somewhere 
in your office, and unless you invite us on this show, we will not tell you where it is. And it, it blows up in an indiscriminate amount of time. I would just, I would, and then she's gonna, I, it, I just he'll just invite work. you over in the suit. Yeah, and, and then, then I'll you'll just disarm disable him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, we get so oh, old and empty threat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why did she suck. learn this? It's uh, so annoying. Well, Michelle, we, we have reached our time. Wait, okay. to close us out. Ah, your biggest oh. fear. Oh, my biggest yes. fear. Yes. Inspires. Hmm. Do you, want to, do you want to open with mine to help okay, inspire? Okay, sure. I have two. I have one fear that's maybe more material and one that is more real. Uh, uh, that is a bad way to say that. Um, throwing up is my biggest, like, sort of phobia. I have a big, bad phobia throwing up. Um, and then my other more real fear in life is that I will never make anything that is important. Wow. I think that's been proven false, though, right? Mm, not in my eyes. Shame. Not important mm. enough. Shame, brother. Shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My my biggest fear is is the moments uh, before death as you lay there and realize that <laughs> oh, you're dying. Jesus and Christ, Christ, man. Christ. That's, Ludwig, my, that's my biggest fear. Time here. What Ludwig the fuck? Biggest fear? Uh, should... When other people are at high heights, it makes my uh, gooch pucker. Mm. Okay. I feel that. I, I don't like heights either. I'm not a heights person. Okay. I don't like heights and I don't... I Yeah, I like you. I want to feel like I've made some impact, made people happy. Something like that. Yeah. And if I haven't, then I haven't done my job. Uh, I've, I fear that I'll never be able to go to Cambodia and shoot an RPG at a cow. You can pay 10K to do it. I know, but you guys don't want to do it with me. Challenge, I don't. challenge accepted with slime? <laughs> I'm, I, I think I'd have to decline because PETA would come after this us. Is a, this is sure. my yeah, no, they're not operating in Cambodia. This is my offer to you. Great part of Cambodia that handles that part. Me, you, Michelle... <laughs> We'll go paramotoring. paramotoring. <laughs> no. If we can shoot RPGs at we cows shoot from the, the RPG from the paramotor, <laughs> just, just, to the <laughs> just to clarify, you definitely die if you shoot an RPG from the paramotor. <laughs> oh my no. god, shut the up. You're not a scientist. You're, you're not an but arms But if we expert. bring Sam from Windover, he's the player. Yes, yes. Guy. it's a jet lag challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you have to shoot it. <laughs> Sam! We did it. We did it. All right, we'll see you on the primo where we'll read out the obituary for all these dead what? people. Do you, do you want to plug anything? This is oh, your yeah, opportunity true. at the very end where no one listens. <laughs> okay, thank you to everyone who's not listening and st still stuck around. You can check me out on my YouTube channel. Thanks for having me. I sure me. will. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Hope it's uh, hope it's all right. And then he's like, "My wife uh, just asked me for a divorce." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and keep in mind, the moment I got in the car before he said to, to me uh, anything to me, I see him call. He has a he has his phone text zoomed in all the way, and he is giving his Corey, my beautiful wife, a call. Oh my god! And, Dude. and then do, the person doesn't pick up, and he leaves a message in spanish okay and i